here is question 2b part 2. So here's our question is that one of our observers sorry one of our observers has recorded the correct age band for 30 out of the 42 shoppers that they observed. So when what they're saying is don't carry out don't actually design the simulation but we want to discuss how that doing a simulation so why is it that doing a simulation is going to be helpful okay that's what the key idea is why and how would a simulation help in this situation okay so let's take into let's first of us think thinking about why do we ever do a simulation um, and one of the big reasons that we do a simulation is to collect data okay why is it that data is useful so why is it that data is useful the more data we have um, more data means more accurate information and therefore if I've got more accurate information then better decisions are made okay so there is our starting point is that we do simulation to collect more data to improve the accuracy of what we know and the more accurate we are the more information we have the better our decision making process is okay so that's first and foremost now let's think about well what role does a simulation have in this particular context um, and let's be a bit more specific so having more data means that we can means we can estimate the sampling variability um, in this observers and this observer okay so we don't know whether the 30 out of 42 is this observer's normal rate is it a bad day for the observer? Was it a different location? Um, what is it about this? We need to collect more information. And so by getting more information, we can get a range of values. So if we find, for example, um, that this observer would normally have um, a rate of between 80 to 95% accuracy, then then we can look at this particular instance and say well right out 30 out of the 42 times so 30 out of the 42 is about 71 percent accurate so if i know that that variability the that particular observer has normally got a rate of between 80 and 95 then i can say well in this case this particular person's rate this particular day is really unusually low for this particular observer whereas if the observer's normal rate was between 70 and 80 percent then that would mean that this actually is quite um, an, an expected level of accuracy for this observer so what it means is that having this variation having information on that variability that allows us then to make a comparison okay so a comparison um, between the observer's normal rate and this particular occasion okay so allowing so having that more information about the variability allows us to make a better comparison all right so we, the other thing added to that is we want to know so we're kind of tying into that is we want to know 
is, is that data representative? of that observer, okay, um, and how much variation would be normal for that particular observer. So doing a simulation is going to help us gather this information about the sampling variability um, and it's going to enable us to make a better comparison um, between that 71% and what would normally be expected.